Hi folks, welcome to part three of my really easy but really gorgeous cheesecake. Okay, now when it's opened, okay, if you've got any liquid on top, any whey, you want to you want to tip that whey down the drain because you don't want liquid in it, okay? So now what you want to do is go ahead and dump all of this into your mixing bowl. Okay, now what you want to do now is you want to get your um, <clears throat> your evaporated milk okay just bung it in your mixing bowl just like that okay now give it a tap make sure you've got it all out because every little bit helps hey what are you doing in here gypsy yeah get out <laughs> that's my dog okay now also you want to get your lemon juice and you want to bung all of your lemon juice in your mixing bowl. Again, get all the, get every bit out. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and mix all that up until it's nice mixed and it's nice and creamy. Okay. Okay, don't forget when you're mixing, just to get it out the blades. Okay, just knock it out of the blades and just scrape it down from the edges. Okay, now when you've got it off the blade and off the um, sides, you want to go ahead and carry on mixing. Okay, now when you've mixed it, um, it should really, it should be like a quite, quite a sort of thick, almost like a double whipping cream consistency, okay? and you don't want any lumps in it okay you want it nice and smooth okay i'll just see look just like a whipping whipping cream consistency okay now what you want to do now okay is you want to get your sugar your icing sugar and you want to want to put your icing sugar in you want to do a bit at a time okay you don't want to okay put all of it in at once as you can see i've just done a bit and then you want to mix all that in. Okay, don't forget, folks, to keep, you know, stop it once in a blue moon. And just to scrape it down off the sides if you're using your chem wood or your mixer. <clears throat> okay. And then just go... Okay, now, just go ahead and put some more sugar in. You could probably add the rest of it in, okay? Probably do, do it half and half, really. Okay, just like so, and then you want to go ahead and mix that in until it's nice and smooth and no lumps. Okay, once again, just scrape off the stuff around the sides, okay, and scrape off a little bit off the blade. You could probably use a, um, a hand whisk you know or even a hand mixer I mean if you hand whisk then it's going to be it's going to be knackering but you could do it okay but yeah so make sure it's all down off the sides and then just give it a final whisk okay until it's all nice and smooth okay now I've, I've um, <clears throat> whisked that for about um, four minutes <clears throat> now I've got I'm using a Kenwood and I whisked it on about four minutes on about setting number three. Okay? But you can really whisk it as long as you want. Okay, now this is... Well, what you want to do is you want to get all of it off your... Your, um... Blades. Okay, but you don't want to get all of it off because you want to give some of it to your kids. In my case, me dog, because she loves the stuff. So I just let her lick it off. <laughs> I know it's not very hygienic, but it all goes in the dishwasher. So, okay, so now that's all done, mm, have a taste yourself, it should be, the taste should be really smooth, and cr should be smooth, creamy texture, okay, no lumps whatsoever, it should be smooth like really smooth ice cream. Okay, now when you've got it all off, <clears throat> what you want to do now is basically you want to transfer all of that in there, on top of your biscuit biscuit base 
Okay, as you can see, I've dumped it all in. Okay, don't forget the bowls over there. Don't forget to give the bowl to the kids. Okay, because I really love this.